Last time on Long Distance Dungeons and Dragons Dinner Theater. Cersei Morgan, Osk, and Vortiga sailed their cargo past the East Linian Navy with the help of some very strong magic. Can I do a obscure, a mythic obscuring mist, put two mythic points in it, create a 500 foot tall, 500 foot wide cloud of fog? Yeah, of course. That'd be beautiful. Then they landed at Devitess and learned of a local legend of great fortune nearby. Sleek persevered deeper down into the caverns after sustaining some damage and captured another giant spider before finding herself locked in battle in a small chamber with a very strong and very strange beast. Uh, just so it attacks me, the person, and it does 14 damage to me, the person. To you, the person, yes, yeah, so you've taken 14 damage. How do you respond? Ow. Oh, good answer. Yeah. Our treasure hunting party left Devitess and spent the next several months searching the local mountains for gold, until coming upon the treasure of legend, only to find the cave it was in already occupied by a nude woman. You can see her, her bottom portion of her is underwater, and she seems to be uh, holding an egg, uh, and like dripping hot water on it. And now, long distance Dungeon Dragons Dinner Theater continues. She does seem to notice you, but she doesn't stop bathing the egg. With a 27 stealth? Yeah. Unfortunately, she has really high perception. She has a plus 17 perception. Yeah, I rolled yeah. a 13, so... She noticed all of you. <laughs> Even the invisible one, you think. Oh, come I mean, on. I mean you, probably would, you probably wouldn't know she noticed you because... It, uh, I mean, you guys don't know she noticed you. I know she noticed you. She, to you guys, it still looks like she's washing this egg. She has not stopped what she's doing to look at you. I know that she knows you're there. You guys don't know that. But yeah, she has noticed you. Idea that I would not, if I going, I'm gonna move on. Okay. So, that's what I would have done if I didn't know that she knew I was there. All right, you move on. You move like closer to where? Well, I'm on the walls of the cavern. Yep. Right? So I'm gonna keep going down further towards the towards the gold and stuff. All right. So the gold is on the other side of the like the water that she is in. Um, there's a big pile of it. It's a big pile of gold. You don't sense any traps or anything. Just a bunch of coins and shiny jewelry on the edge of this bit of water. And they make ladies. They make you an egg. Yeah. Cool. Um. Well, fuck. I'm gonna pray to Urgothor real quick. I need you guys to uh, all make a will save. Okay. Ooh, sweet. Twenty-five. You're good. I got, I got a nineteen. You're good. 25. You're good. 19. You're all good. Okay, well, I've got that wallet, right? And that wallet can put money in or out. Correct. I might just start scooping up money with a wallet. Smooth. <laughs> and it's going to go into the internet. Do Tom? Tom, have I told you lately that I love you? <laughs> no. Yeah. You solved my gold puzzle. Go yeah. for it. Scoop up all the gold in the wallet. Yeah, I've got the wallet. <laughs> All right, you start shoveling gold into your wallet. Sweet. I have one of those wallets, too. I'm going to do the same. All right. Anybody else? No, I don't, I don't have a wallet. You guys just grab as much as you can, can grab in your hands? And as much yeah. as they can carry, you got to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it gets heavy. Yeah. Um, all right. So as you guys start grabbing for the gold, um, <laughs> out of the water uh, comes this nude woman. And as she comes out of the water, you realize that the bottom half of her body... Uh, is a slithering winged dragon. Oh, cool. So she's like a half dragon, half woman. Alright, I'm gonna stay in Draconic. Uh, I understand Draconic as well. My name is Cersei. Uh, we heard a great treasure, and uh, we are here to uh, steal it. Yeah, that's, not the, that's not the way I want to go with that. Hands. Yeah, take it off your hands. Uh, no, we... Uh, we are great adventurers, and uh, we, we've come here to claim our prize. 
Uh, and she says, I'm going to roll a on that, too. All right. To help him with the diplomacy. And, and you've got it. it. You can you, uh, plus one on the skill check if you want. Uh, what did I get? 11 plus While they're doing two, this, uh, I'm going to continue. I got a 25 on diplomacy. You would. Uh, while she does seem charmed and by you. Too. Yeah, she does seem charmed by you, but she also knows she's kind of licking her lips and looking at you guys hungrily. Uh, oh, okay. She hasn't started attacking, but she's, she's listening to you speak and not attacking right away. Uh, I'm no, no. still looks like a floating voice. She rolls, so. uh, I rolled a, hold on, a 33 intimidate check, and she says, uh, put back whatever you've taken, and I'll let you leave without eating all of you. I'm gonna say, uh, ooh, it's gonna be a bluff check. I don't have any gold on me. Roll bluff check. <laughs> Mom can say that. It's not really a bluff. I literally don't have any gold on. No, it's true. No, yeah. You're I guess lying. you're right. I guess you're right. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm being completely honest. You did diplomacy. Then. How about a diplomacy? Can I roll diplomacy on that one? Yeah, I rolled a twenty. I rolled a twenty-nine cents motive though, so. All right. Well, she's gonna sense. Exactly. She's gonna sense some deception in it, even though you say you have no money on you, and it is the truth. There is some deception in it. You have to admit that. So she'll sense that something is up. As, as an Orson, I'm gonna cast enhanced diplomacy on you. Yeah. So you get a plus one. You get a plus two on your diplomacy. Twenty-seven. I'm gonna boost it. Thirty. All right. She says, uh, "Well, I guess it is a lot of gold. What about we make a deal?" In Draconic, I'll say uh, a deal can be made. You see, I have this egg. It was the egg of my lover. And it will uh, hatch to maturity in seven years. I need a new place for it to grow up. I need to find it a new home. Uh, because there's not enough humanoids that'll venture up into these mountains. And there's not enough food for the both of us. If you would take this egg and give it a safe new home, I would give you as much of this treasure as you can carry. Alright. How about if we just bring people for you to eat? I can't, I can't speak. No, don't. Yeah, you don't. No, no. Uh, she uh, understands uh, common, so if you said that out loud just now, she would well, understand you. I wouldn't you. have known what they were saying at this no, point. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just true. saying common, I'll be like, we can put it in your disc. I got it. Well, Take it, and uh, I'm trying to see if I have an aging spell. If you give me a second, I'm, 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 yeah, take your time. Want to hatch this thing? Yeah, I want to hatch this motherfucker right now. I'm gonna see what's up. This thing's gonna eat you. Whatever. We're still doing the dragon of fucking favor, and yeah. we have another dragon on our side. Yeah, but well, maybe on our side, or maybe just one more thing that we're trying to eat us. Yeah. Well, where? I, I don't know what's going on because no one's translating for me. Uh, all right. Well, I, I'll tell you guys that we have a deal. We take this egg and hold it for seven years. We uh, can take as much gold as we can carry. Oh uh, no, Nate! Hold it for seven years. Hold it for seven years till it hatches. We can take the gold now, though, right? Yes. Is that really what you said? That's, I'm pretty sure that's what you said. I'm gonna say, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I I don't really speak draconic. What's what's going on here? Uh, she says, right, well, you're, oh, yeah, she says, your friend is half right. I, I speak common, don't worry. Uh, yes, I want my egg looked after and taken care of, so if, if you would look on it and take care of it, that would be a, a great favor to me, but I need you to find it a, a new place to live. It can't grow up here with me. There aren't enough resources for us both here. I need you to find a new dwelling for it. So what kind of dwelling is necessary for your egg? We Vuvra like to lure humanoids in with large piles of gold, so an old dragon's lair or a sunken treasure. Any place that has a lot of gold that we can protect and, and humans will come into and we can eat them. Oh. 
So any place that has a lot of treasure. So if, like, even if you have a treasure hoard that you want protected, if you would put my, this egg near that, it would protect your treasure and get meals anytime someone tried to rob you. So it would be a win-win situation. But it can't live here with me. We both won't live off the number of people that come here. That's excellent. Forgive me for being a little bit idiot or thick, but uh, how is an egg going to defend my treasure? Well, well it's going to take seven years. It's not a, right away. I mean, do you have a treasure hoard yet? Well, no. I do. It's very impressive for uh, a young Sam Sarn of your age to have a hoard. Is it as large as this one? It's a powerful crystal. She gasps. She says, one of the crystals? Indeed. She nods. Knowingly. I'll take the egg, and then I'm going to scoop as much gold as I can into my wallet. All right. Everyone with a wallet, you don't want to take so much that she notices you guys are doing something deceptive, then she might attack. But I'll let you guys with wallets take a lot more than the guys without wallets. Guys without wallets, roll a d20 and multiply that by 10. Without wallets. Without. Yeah, without. Yeah, 19. So you got 190. I got two. So 20. You were able to scoop up 20 gold before she hurried you along. Guys with wallets, roll a d20 and multiply that by 100. Yes, you can surge it. Just roll a d6 and surge it. You can grab 60 more gold. What'd you get? I can roll an 18. Then t I'll multiply surge. 100. I'll surge it. You can surge anything you want. Then add times that 100, whatever. Uh, it's like a se that's 17. Scoop up as much gold as you can. I got two, so. Can I use my guy? I have 40. Your what? Just roll to give it a plus one. Yeah. Sure, it'll be 19, so then it'll be 1900. Sure, go for it. I'll take uh, the guidance too, and I'll take the yeah. two Then you all have guidance? Oh, yeah. So that means you get 30 gold there, yeah, Ortega. Well, I rolled a 2 on my surge, so I get 50 now. Well, okay, there you the, go. What about the money I was scooping up beforehand? That's <laughs> all inclusive. That's inclusive, yeah. Be okay. cool, Tom. Be cool. I'm just, you know, I'm there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask her name. I'm here to get paid. Uh, I'm going to ask her name so that I can tell her progeny about yeah. her. Her name is Mina, and she's a Avuvra. Mina Avuvra. They're solitary creatures, uh, so they won't want a lot of company. They prefer to eat evil fae, so like drow, any kind of evil elf creature, or nixies. Um, but they are very intelligent and prefer a good conversation, as long as you're, you know, you guys, if you grew up with it, you're probably fine. Um, they prefer snakes for companionship, so if you could maybe get it, a couple snakes to play with, maybe four to ten snakes, which would also help protect your treasure and just keep it company, because talk we talk to snakes. But it'll grow to be 12 feet long and about 500 pounds and live up to 200 years. So it'll keep your treasure safe for a long time. It needs to be near water. We can breathe air or water, but it's, it helps to have some water nearby. You know, like an underground uh, cavern? Yeah, or, some uh, kind of water this helps. Because we like, to, we, like to drag our, we like to drag our prey under, underwater and drown them and then eat them. It's just easier than fighting. Because we can lure them in with our attractive uh, human pots. Because we prefer humanoid-type flesh, but we'll, pray, we'll feed on any warm-blooded prey, so if... There's a time when people aren't breaking into your, you know, treasure hoard and you just want to feed us something. Any kind of warm-blooded prey is fine. We like mu music. So we like to sing and our scales vibrate. Um, and whenever we die, our head disgorges another egg. So, uh, you know, this, is, this, this, head is from the, this egg is from the head of my lover. So. Oh, her lover does not touch that. Do we have a lover's name? Uh, his name was Bill. Bill! You should name the dragon after Bill. Yeah. The, the egg should hatch in six weeks. He'll be a William of sorts. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call him Liam. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the egg hatches after six weeks, but then matures over seven years. So in about six weeks, it'll hatch and have a little tiny half dragon, half yeah. half baby. I was not aware of that when I took it. Yeah. All right, I got a new pet. Every, every contract has fine print, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the offspring usually resemble humanoids that the mother has eaten or the father has eaten, so... uh. They usually try to eat very strong, attractive people. Well, <laughs> so. well I'm not that strong. But they I'm also adapt strong. to the appearance of nearby reptilian creatures. So whatever creatures are nearby that are reptilian, they'll kind of look more like them. Snakes or dragons or whatever. So the reason she looks more draconic is because there was once a great dragon here, and that's why she moved into this lair, because it was easy to lure people here because they wanted the treasure. Most of what she's eaten, but since you were such a charming Samsaran...
She's decided to make a deal with you because she is a mother now and of some sort. So. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that fucking uh little dragon uh gremlin in my uh crystal cave. I'll tell Del- Delvina, be like, hey, you like to sing, you're a mermaid. Mermaids sing. Just hang out with That's made in heaven. Yeah, cool. Uh, I like it. That's a good plan actually. I think the dragon is dead. Yeah. This uh, dragon in yeah. this cave. Dragon's dead. Oh, the one that's picking over there. Yeah, yeah. She had a giant octopus. Too, yeah, that right? got killed in that ship thing, too. Yep. So, wait, maybe the dragon's still alive, but the... Octopus, octopus is dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so many fucking hog people. Yeah. I'll figure out a way to get aid. Uh, All right, that, cool. That little creature over there. All right, so we make our way back down towards, uh... What was the name of the town? D- Devites. 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 All right, this you guys head back through the mountain range toward Devites. And now we'll do- join Juwan who is headed south from Aerobane, and you've reached uh, the reservoir, uh, which has a small, like, rivulet, leads out to the ocean. You know that this place is often was called uh, La Chambre when you were a child, is what they call this reservoir. And it, the summer camp you went to was more just like tents that used to sit up alongside of the reservoir. And as you get closer, you see now that it's kind of worn down and destroyed. It looks like no one's used the summer camp in a long time, so it's kind of in, in disrepair. She coming from East Linia? Yeah, yeah, she's in East Linia. Yeah. Um, alright. So, as usual, I'm gonna get Genevieve to fly forward a little bit to kind of check it out and make sure that there's nothing scary there. And I've got, um, Hecate Traps, I think. There's all right, yeah, you don't you don't detect any traps or anything. Just the the camp scene's worn down, There's but there aren't any. Down. Yeah, there's no like you know uh, set up leaf traps or anything like that or ropes or nothing like that. No. So are there like plants growing up around everything. Uh, yeah, it just seems uh abandoned. Like the there's some small shacks that, that were there for like stores over your kid, but they they seem kind of abandoned and, and like cobwebs are growing the windows and. They just seem in disrepair, and there's like a fire pit, but it's full of ash, and looks like no one's been there a long time. Um, and the area designated for tents is like mostly empty, except for tents that are kind of torn down or, or you know, also destroyed. Well, what does Genevieve say when she comes back? Is there anybody in the water? She indicates that there's some life in the water, yeah. She seems like she wanted to dive down and like try to get something like fish to eat or something, so she indicates there's life in the water, yes. Life in the water. What about my mermaids, yo? All right, well, in that case, I'm just going to walk up to the edge of the water. Um, so all the mermaids' names rhyme. I'm just going to decide that. Okay. Uh, well, that's not true, though, because I have some mermaids that have names in my thing, so that's not going to be true for all of them. Maybe some I of them, yeah. I have name, then, that I can say. I just wanted to, like, call out to them, like some of the mermaids that I know that live there. I mean, that was 50 years ago. You don't know that they still live there, or... They're freaking mermaids. Well, you can, like I said, you can make up a name that rhymes, and that could be one mermaid's name, but there are at least three mermaids that don't have rhyming names because I already right. made them up. Well, I'm going to call out to Sharon. Sharon what? <laughs> Does, I need to hear the last name that rhymes with Sharon. Oh, oh, I was saying, like, all of the mermaids. Oh, like all their names rhyme with Sharon? So it's like Sharon, <laughs> Darren, Marin, Laren, like that? Like that's what Marian. you mean? Okay, no, that's silly. But okay, but you call it for Sharon. That's not true. Sharon! It is yell Sharon at the the reservoir. (laughs) (laughs) Roll me a perception check. Okay. 19. Uh, You hear a noise coming from behind you. All right, well, I'm going to turn around and look at that noise. All right, roll perception to look at the noise. Or look at what's making the noise. Okay, because you're not going to see a noise. I know, Brian. You know what I meant. 18. I did. Uh, yeah, you see that it seems like someone's following you. They just, whenever you turned around, they, like, jumped behind a bush. Um, alright, well, I guess I'm gonna draw out my sword that I got in my, um... Didn't I get a sword or something in my dragon kit? No. The dragon kit sucked. You didn't get anything in that dragon kit. That did suck. Hey, Donnie. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> His dad was Donnie. Oh, I have a masterwork rapier. Okay, that's a sword. I'm gonna whip out my rapier. Okay. Show yourself! Alright, so uh, very sheepishly, a 
A young humanoid steps out of the bush, but looking at him, he looks familiar. Roll me a perception check. Eight. Who the fuck are you? You can't tell who he is, but he says, calm down, it's just me, and as he gets closer, his he sort of uh, starts changing into a kitsune. So am I perceptioning again? Sure. Oh, 20. Okay, I know exactly who this yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's Kit. Kit what Arbre. What the hell are you doing here? He said, I followed you. I can tell. That's not really what that question meant, though. He said the city was so cool. Everything Why was so big. Why have you me since the city? That's not a smart idea. He says, well, I just wanted... I never left the Launch du Denard before, and I just wanted to see what the world was like. I was just curious. And well, I thought, if I went with you, you're a brave adventurer, and you would keep me safe. Yeah, well, lesson number one in the keeping safe thing is I actually have to know that you're here. But, Aunt Juwan, I knew that if you knew I was following you, that, that you would tell my mom, and she wouldn't let me come. Are you old enough to come on your own? Oh, come on. I'm like 18. I'm way old enough to leave the forest. Well, then what do you worry about your mama for? Well, you know, she's like a den mother, and it's like a big deal and everything, and if I leave, it kind of, you know, makes her look bad. Did you tell your mother goodbye? I left her a note. Uh, that's not good enough. Oh, come on, Aunt Juan. I didn't mean any harm. I just wanted to go have an adventure, too. Aunt Juan, I don't like that. Just call me Juan. Oh, uh, how about, like, uh, AJ no. or something? Nope, Juan's good. Okay, Thanks. I'll try to get used to it. Juan. Juan. <laughs> oh, this is gonna turn out badly, friend. Uh, what kind of weapons does he have on him? Like, what kind of stuff has he got? Is he even prepared for, like, going on an adventure? A uh, little kit has got a, a sickle on him and a sling. Okay. So he has a sickle from, like, when he worked the fields and stuff, and a sling from when he used to, you know, play with a slingshot. That's it. That's all he's got. You know. A sickle and a sling. He says, I've got a potion of invisibility with me. And I brought a scroll of long strider, and I'm wearing a plus one hide armor, and I've got a dark wood uh, masterwork heavy wooden shield that was my dad's, and um, I got ten rocks for my sling, and an antitoxin, oh. and a spell component pouch, because I'm trying to be, I want to be a druid like you. Okay, okay. I was hoping you could teach me how to be a druid. I got fifty two yeah. gold. I could, I could pay my own way. I've been saving up. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to have to pay your own way. I mean, ideally, we're not going to need any money, though. So, um, have you ever... So he's never... You've never left. No, this is my ever. first time out. It doesn't seem so scary. Roll me a perception check. I don't like this. Uh, okay. All right, rule number one. Shut your face. I have no idea what's happening in this uh, reservoir area, so I'm trying to find my mermaid friends that used to live here. Um, because I'm a little bit worried that the humans that have been terrorizing all the kitsune may have passed their, uh, I don't know, may have also, like, done something mean to all my mermaids, and then I'm gonna have to, like, kill all the humans. <laughs> kill all humans. Um, so, now at least that I know he's here, um, I'm gonna get him to stay along the tree line at the edge of the water and, like, keep an eye out, like, keep a lookout with Genevieve, and... I'm going to try to find some freaking mermaids again. Can I... All right, I need you to roll a perception uh, check for what was yeah. happening a second ago anyway. So roll the perception check That's... I asked for a minute ago first. You asked for a perception check? Oh, yeah, a long time ago. I did one. I need you to do one right now. Well. You hear a gunshot. Do I, like, just hear the gunshot but not, like, a bullet whiz past me or anything? It seems like the gunshot was aimed in your direction, yeah. Oh, fucker. All right. Um, obviously, uh, we're going to dive back into the woods then, aren't we? Uh, you're down by that reservoir. There aren't that many woods close to there, are there? No, I guess not. Um, you can maybe hide in one of the broken down tents or the shack or dive underwater or try to make it around the reservoir. But it's going to, you know, if someone can shoot you from here, they can shoot you while you're trying to travel around the reservoir, too. They'd have that whole period of time you're trying to go around it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, <clears throat> they seem to be coming from the direction of north. Like, they're shooting from north down towards you south. Fucking humans, man. Um, all right, well, can I do... 
I'm gonna do a fog cloud. Okay. So that it obscures, I guess, where we are. If someone is trying to shoot us. So it'll make gonna, it harder for them to hit. I'm gonna let jump onto the ground and shove Kit's stupid face down onto the ground with me. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna ask him how good he is at swimming. If he can hold his breath for a long time, because I'm thinking about swimming over to the other side of the reservoir. He says, "Gee, I don't know. I've never, I've never been really swimming before. I've only lived in the forest my whole life." Fucking perfect, Kit. I mean, I'm willing to try it, I guess. What do I have to do? <sighs> Hold your breath and swim. If you what, can't swim, what is what is swim? Exactly. Jesus Christ. What are you now doing? you know why your mom sent you to summer camp. Uh, she wanted to make sure you knew how to swim. <laughs> uh, can you ride a horse then? If he's a druidy forest kid. I mean, I've groomed a horse before, but I've never ridden one. Well, I could try it. No, this kid's going home. This is the worst. <laughs> I'm babysitting this kid. This is not what I asked for. Uh, damn it. Um. I mean, I know all kind of cool spells. I can, like, turn myself into a gas. Check it out. And he turns himself into a gas. How long does that last, Kit? I don't know, a couple minutes, usually. Alright, adventure number one. I'm gonna stay in this fog cloud, and I want you to leave the fog cloud as a gas... Go north a little bit and see if you can find out who the fuck's been shooting at us. And then come back and tell me. Okay. Not before you run out of being a gas. Mission number Make one accepted. Here. Make it back here before you're not a gas anymore. All right, he accepts his Go. first min mission and rushes off in the form of a gas that resembles the fog um, towards the sound of the gunshot. Um, on his way back, he returns to Kitsune form and starts running towards the fog cloud. Another gunshot rings out. Uh, oh, this perfect. time... It hits him. Great. Uh, he gets he gets wounded in his shoulder, but he keeps running, and he makes it back to the fog to you. And he says, "It's a human, and he's got a gun." Just one human? Yeah, he's a hunter, and I think he was trying to kill me. Of course, he's trying to kill you, kid. Humans are racist idiots. We're gonna murder. I all guess of mom them. was Don't right. Worry. All humans are racist idiots. We should kill them all. She always said, "Kill them all," and I said, "Mom, that sounds a little extreme." And she said, "No, just kill them all." <laughs> About 100, 100 feet nor right north of here. 100 feet north, huh? Yeah. Does my um, call lightning work at 100 feet away? I don't know. You're going to have to check your spell book. I'm, I'm kind of new yeah. to being a druid. I don't Ryan, know about call lightning spells. Ryan, I don't have that app anymore. You have to give me a minute. Okay, or I can look it up for you on the internet. Now I have to get out of character, though, which is way harder to get back in now. Nah, you're good at that voice. It'll be fine. No, it's really hard. Range is 100 feet plus 10 feet per caster level. Oh, perfect. So I'm just going to call lightning and just murder this human then because I, there probably is no talking to this guy yet. All right, you call lightning. So, yeah, after a minute of summoning, it takes you a minute to, to cast this spell. So after a minute of saying gobbledygook and wagging your fingers in the middle of your fog cloud... A vertical bolt of lightning strikes down from the sky and does 3d6 electricity damage to the human that's been trying to shoot your nephew. And me. Well, mostly just your nephew, as far as you can tell, but... I mean, the first shot happened after your nephew revealed himself to be Kitsune, so maybe he was just hunting Kitsune. You still look human, so... Yes, Seven. you also, because you're Kitsune, but... So what'd you get? Seven. Seven damage total? That was 3d6s worth of damage? Yeah. It was four, then two, then... No, yeah, it was four, one, then two. Okay, so he's not dead, but he's definitely stunned. He dropped his, his weapon, but he's 100 feet away, so you didn't see that. Uh, All right, well, Kit, um, I'm going to drop this cloud. I'm going to diminish this cloud. We're going to be... You're going to be a people like me. And uh, we're going to start yelling at this guy and asking what his fucking problem is. I don't know. I don't know if that's a great plan. What if he tries to shoot me again? You have a shield, dog. Okay, but it's just made of wood. I don't know how good wood shields do against those crazy bullet things. That really hurt my shoulder. Look, it's bleeding. I'm in a lot of pain right now. It's really quite surprising that I'm not crying or anything. You're being very brave. and I'm so brave. This is my first brave. adventure. Kit, rule number one. Don't talk when I'm talking. I'm sorry. <laughs>
I'm very excited. I have never been on an adventure before, and this is a really big deal for me. I know, but that's why I'm telling you the rules now, bud. Don't talk while I'm talking. Okay, shush, got it. Cool. Um. Uh, Jesus. So just stay behind me. Yeah, let's uh turn into humans. I'm still a human. I want you to do what I do if you're going to follow me around. Shift back into your human shape. I'm going to drop this cloud. We're going to hold our hands up because he's dropped his gun. So if you see, if we see him leaning down again to pick up his fucking gun, we're going to, um, then we'll do some kind of attack thing. But as long as he doesn't pick up his gun as if he's going to attack us again, then we're going to try to just play ourselves off as humans, yeah? Okay, but I'll have a rock ready in my sling just in case. All right, um... So you have your rock ready, and you kind of hang out behind me so he doesn't see that you have your rock ready? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep it tucked away in my in my pouch. Okay, It'll look totally innocuous. I can't ready an attack without it being very obvious, I don't think. I guess it kind of depends what kind of weapon you're using, huh? Yeah, thanks, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's my first adventure, but I'm pretty wise. You know what? I'm going to have a ready action with my hand crossbow then, because... He shot at you. It's only fair. Yeah, but he doesn't have his gun, and I... So he... So Kit and I are both ready to attack. So is Genevieve. She's pissed. Is she still flying or is she in your pouch? No, I mean, she's like circling around. Okay. You guys approach this human who is kind of startled. Oh, dude. Oh, says, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I really what is am. Wrong with you? I saw, I what thought I, I, I really did thought I saw, I thought I saw a Kitsune over there by the reservoir. I, th- I swear I did. I swear I saw one. And look. Since when did Kitsune come out of their stupid little wooden houses? Look, I don't know, every, t- every now and then you see one. Look, I, to tell you the truth, I was out here because I heard that swamp was haunted, and I just wanted to see a ghost, but I figured I could do some hunting while I'm out here, maybe shoot a couple deer or something. But Kitsune, I get big money for that. I thought I saw one, and I'm so sorry. I, I did, My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I didn't mean, I really didn't mean no harm. I really did. You shot this little kid in the shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry, son. You look you look like a Kitsune from far away. I don't know. He's probably going to kick you in the shin. You better be careful. Man, I'm so I'm so very sorry. I did not know I did not know you were human. I did not know. You got any potions or anything on you, man? I, I keep this look. I keep I keep one cure light on me. This when I go out. Look, it's on me. It's my bad. Give me that. Okay, here's all yours. You take this cure light. I, look, but just be careful. Those kitsunes, they'll scratch you. So you, if you see one, you shoot too. Okay. I know that's why we have our weapons out. And this bird that we've trained is supposed to be looking out for Kitsune, and here you go shooting us for well, no I, I did not know. Like I said, I swore, I, I swore like I saw him. one. I really did. I really did swear I did see one. You think if there's a Kitsune walking around next to us that we wouldn't shoot it? I suppose you would. I don't know why some, anyone would let a Kitsune live if they saw one. A disgusting exactly. little beast. That's what I'm trying to say. They're just disgusting little nasty little creatures. All they do is dig in your trash and, and steal from your house, and rape your wives. Now that's a story I've never heard before. Yeah, that's what they say about them. I thought they were just like... No, they're what? disgusting, filthy creatures. Everything that's wrong with the world is because Kitsune's did it. Did your mama tell you that? Yeah, that's, just, that's the way we was taught growing up in Arabane. That's the Arabane way of life. Kitsune's is gross, and humans is awesome. Well, forever. Uh, I guess that is one way to view the world. So, anyway, we've been around this swamp. Having human power. Like right, am I right? Human power. <laughs> Say with me, sister. Human power. No, I mean, I'm not really from the town, so I don't quite... Maybe I'm just not as dedicated to the cause as you, friend. All but, right, uh, well, you come check it. We got meetings in town. You should come check it out sometime. You really like it. I, we, we're nice guys. As long as you're in a Kitsune, you're welcome. Gosh, you guys sound really nice. Yeah, well, we're the nicest. I can tell by the hospi- like hospitality that we've received so far. I mean, I, I gave you a free cure you. light potion. I don't know what else you want from me. Some moonshine. I don't drink. Do I do not, not drink. Not. That's against my religion. Uh, all right, well, so yeah, like I said, we've been at this reservoir, and it's not haunted. Well, be careful, because I hear that there's a boogeyman out there that grabs people that comes near your lake. See, we used to go there all the time, because I got some real fancy caviar down there. But we had to stop hunt. We had to stop getting that caviar. Some some folks come out here. Are you, are you one of them caviar scalpers coming out here trying to get the caviar anyway, even though you heard it's haunted because you know it's worth so much money? 
No, I'm just a general world traveler adventurer. Well, be careful, because I hear that summer camp's haunted, and if you go too near that lake, you're going to get got. How long ago did the <laughs> summer camp get uh, haunted? I don't know, maybe like 40, 50 years ago. 50 years, huh? Yeah, that's a number we hear a lot. Any, um, descri- you ever heard like a description or anything of this uh, boogeyman? Not me either. I only ever just heard him call a boogeyman. I heard he comes out of the water and just snatches you. Snatches you? Yeah, he's a body snatcher. Jason Voorhees. <laughs> a body snatcher? <laughs> All right, this lives in the water. Yeah, I guess um, in that case we won't walk too close to the edge of it. Yeah, just keep your distance. That's all I say. You know, be safe out there, you know. And it's like, keep your weapon ready. If you see, like I said, you see any kind of boogeyman's or kitsune, you just shoot. Shoot first, ask questions later. I'm sure that's a very productive philosophy. I got me a lot of shooting done in my life, so I think it worked out all right. Yeah, well, Yeah, ABS, always be shooting. That's what I say. It's nice meeting you. You stay safe out here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep out here hunting. So I'm gonna keep my eye peeled. I'll still be in the area. So if you get in any danger, you just holler. My name's Darl. All right, Darl. I'll holler for you if we need help. My my birds have been trained really well, though. So I'll keep an eye on your bird, mate. I'll, if I see that bird, I know you're around. Huh. Excellent. Well, yeah. Likewise. You get ha- have a nice day. Come. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye. Gee, Antoine, I don't know. So now he's Mickey Mouse, can't do it anymore. <laughs> nah, you got this. So yeah, that was pretty, uh... So I'm gonna check my... I'm gonna get Kit... I'm gonna say, Kit, close your eyes. I'm gonna check my tattoo and make sure that the guy's not, like, staring at... And, like, watching us anymore. The eye is still open. So he's fucking watching us still? Probably. He can still see you. If he's not watching you, he still see he can still see you. Yes. Or someone else is. Or someone else is, yeah. You're you are being you are being seen right now. You're in someone's vision. Whether or not you were specifically being watched, it doesn't say, but it does tell you that people can see what you're doing right now. I you thought are, that it was if someone was looking at you. If someone's looking at you or if you're able to be seen. Like if someone could see you right now. Yes. Alright. Um I'm very curious about what he thinks this boogeyman is, because honestly, like, anyone who is an enemy of that, you know, of an idiot like that guy, kind of makes me think that he might be a friend of ours. Gee, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, like, I've been in the force my whole life, I never heard of no boogies man before. Yeah, so I'm kind of wondering if it's maybe just the mermaids have got to be, like, super defensive because of these idiot humans. Well, how do we find out? Well, what we're going to do is, uh, my plan was before someone fucking shot at us, is I was going to try to talk to some of the fish that are in the water and see if they can give me a little bit of uh, knowledge on what's up. Cool, you can talk to fish? Yeah. That's, that's super neat. Stuff. I'd like to see that a lot. You'd like to see that a lot? Well, yeah. I probably won't do it that often. Well, I mean, like, I like to see it a lot, like, right now. Like, I would very much like to see it. Okay. I didn't go to any kind of fancy school like you did. I heard you had went to college. I had not, not done none of that. Okay, yeah. No, I had only me. been had homeschooled at my by my mom. Well, your mother's a wonderful, intelligent woman. She would have taught you a lot better than that. So don't play. I know what's up. Cool. Gee, okay, maybe I was a little lazy in my studies. Oh, that's not good. Do you know anything about plants and shit? I mean, you've been in the forest your entire oh, life. My mom loves to garden. I know all kinds of stuff about plants. Okay, They're green, and they take stuff out of the air and make it into their food. Oh, my gosh. You have to go home, kid. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with you. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. I can't. Hello. Oh, um. Fodder. Murder. Murder. I'm not going to kill the kid. Shit. Um. Oh, I've only got to speak to plants. I don't have to talk to animals. Wait, wait. I do, I do, I do, right? I don't know. You're a druid. How can you not? Yeah, yeah let's you're... say. You should. I don't know what your spells... I don't know what level you are, what spells you have. That's your I job. I do it, right? It's not like I have enough to worry to about. Path, right? I mean, it's a spell, so I mean, you... Okay, are, are, it. No, or is it a thing that you... A skill you have? I don't know. I don't know Brian, your thing. got it. Okay, got as long as you have it. I got that. Okay, it's a level one. It was just at the bottom of the page and I missed it. Anyway, 
So I'm going to um, kind of, with, because I also, I guess, need to be worried about what this dude thinks is a boogeyman, and it looked like a human and not like a kitsune. Um, okay, I don't want to I'm going to have my long spear out, I think, and kind of ready action with my long spear, and, like, tell Kit to stay, stay back. And I'm going to, like, shuffle walk up to the edge of the reservoir, like, keeping an eye to make sure that some boogeyman thing's not going to grab me or whatever. Okay. Boogeyman! Yeah. And I'm going to, the first fish I see, I'm going to be like, yo, fish. It's all right. Uh, you don't see any fish, but you see a snapping turtle. Hey, cool. Hey, snapping turtle. Hey. So I said, stop. Hey. hey. Is that a snapping turtle? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> So, um, I know I look like a human right now. Not yep. actually a human. You I'm look a, like a human. Oh, so, um, so I know I look like a human, like, kind of keep my voice down. I know I look like a human right now, but I'm actually yeah. a druid kitsune. Cool. And I used to come to this reservoir a whole lot when I was a kid, about 50 years ago. Cool. And this human idiot just told me about some, like, boogeyman or something that's in the water. Do you know anything about that? Or do you know where all the mermaids would be? You mean owl? Sorry? Al. Al? Al. 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 Is the boogeyman Al? Yeah. Is Al mean? Nah. Do you think that Al would talk to me? Maybe. Is Al an animal? Nah. Is Al a mermaid? Mer what? Maid? Hmm. <laughs> no. Merman? Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Brian doesn't like that. <laughs> Stop trying to make out with D&D characters! <laughs> yeah, he's totally hot. Yes. <laughs> Says right, the snapping, um, at least the snapping turtle thinks so. <laughs> I trust a snapping turtle. A snappy turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs. Fingers. <laughs> fingers, fingers and his hand, and his mouth. Well, hot dogs aren't a thing that exist here, so I probably had like bugs or something. Oh, we had, we had uh, dwarf dogs. Dwarf dogs exist. Yeah. Uh, I don't meat in meat in tubes exists here in casings. We've invented meat in casings in this yeah, universe. I, I won the, uh, the, the wolf dog eating contest. It's true. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. So Brian. Yeah. My like shit. seeds and shit, I would assume. Well, oh yeah, it's a hawk, so yeah, it's gotta be like rats. You maybe have like rodents, bugs, anything a hawk would eat. You would well, have. Snapping turtles like bugs. I don't know. Sure. Sure as fuck like. Let's just assume. Let's assume you're a druid and you're able to find something a snapping turtle would like, just because you're so good at being a druid. Let's okay, assume. Yeah. Let's assume you know what a snapping turtle would like to eat, and you're able to find it on your own without okay. asking me. All right. Thanks, snapping turtle. <laughs> no problem. You feed the snapping turtle, and he loves it. So, can the snapping like where is Al? Where do I? How do I talk to Al? I'll get him. Thanks. I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, to the surface of the water comes Al Jetsum. Uh, well, he's Al a Jetson. Al Jetsum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's a merfolk with he's a dark skinned merfolk with colorful scales. Um, dark. Yeah, but he's wearing a strange mask with, like, lots of tubes in it. It's kind of creepy, actually, like a creepy tube mask. Like but an 80s... Obviously a mask? Yeah, but it looks like an 80s movie monster, but, you know, mysterious and silent, and he's got a creepy mask on, yeah. But it's a mask that doesn't look like a mask you can take off. Oh. Okay. Um, and he's carrying, like, a weird staff. What? He's carrying a weird staff. Hello, Al. Um, Brian, is this a merm folk that was around when I was around? Like, do I know him? Is he an old folk? Um, 
No, you don't know him. You've never met him before. You did not meet Al at summer camp and have a little kiss date or anything. <laughs> kiss date. <laughs> I'll meet um, you by the tree at three o'clock. Never happened. That happens at summer camp. I don't know. I never went to summer camp. You can't eat by the tree, Brian. Gosh. <laughs> Look, Liz. They can grow legs. They just can't walk very good. They have magic belts and shit. Soon. Hi, I don't really want to go home. I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, Kit. Shut the fuck up, Kit. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of new to this. I know. I know, buddy. That's why you're going home. <laughs> so, um, I am, so I'm a Kitsune. Not actually a human. Um, we're just in human form because we've been told and have been subjected to the um, murderous racism of the humans that live in the area. And one of those That's your one right there. That's folks yeah. have uh, decided to had told us earlier that there was a boogeyman that was haunting this swamp. And so I assume that's you. Um, he so laughs. Why, why are you haunting the swamp? Like, what happened to the merfolk that used to be here? He, oh, he says, a haunting is a funny haunting. word, and can't you tell I am a merfolk? I know, but what happened to the rest of them? Because I used to come here a lot, and you weren't here. I wanted to know where all my friends were. I was well, I don't know when you came here, here, but most of the merfolk have moved from the reservoir to the ocean where it's safer. We still keep our eggs here in the reservoir, though, and I am the clutch protector. I stay here. And protect the clutch. I guard the clutch from humans who try to take our mermaid eggs and make delicious giant caviar out of them. So you think they're delicious, huh? No, they think they're delicious. <laughs> That's the selling point of them. You I mean, got it. I assume it tastes good. I've never eaten one myself as far as you know. As far as I know. That's Just the kind of humor I'm into. <laughs> I've never really eaten one. It's a joke. So the humans are pretty, uh, pretty bad to you guys too, huh? They're getting a lot of uh, evidence stacked against them about why they need to live more. <laughs> I'm not a big fan either. I guess you'd say. Yeah. But my duties so, but are here at the clutch. Years ago. What's that? What happened fifty years ago? Because all of this shit with the humans seemed to have happened. Oh, I don't know. The kingdom was sent into quite an upheaval when the castle disappeared, and things got kind of crazy. No one really knows. Oh, so where are all the mermaids? Are folks? Oh, they're, they've, we've built a small encampment just off the ocean here, just past the shore. It's not too hard to find if you can breathe underwater, I guess. I can breathe underwater. Well, then uh -huh. I guess you could find it. Just follow the rivulet leaving out of the reservoir to the ocean, and there you'll find it. Do you need anything? Do you need, like, supplies or food or anything that I can help since you're... Oh, no, they, they supply me every day. I just stay here and protect the clutch. It's my job. Hmm. To make sure no eggs are taken. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Al. High five. Uh, <clears throat> a shot rings out. A yeah, because you were still being watched. Uh, at Al. And it whizzes past his head. And you hear someone yell, It's the boogeyman! It's the boogeyman! And your, uh, Darnold comes running up, still firing. He shoots again. I mean, Al would have totally ducked under the water after the first shot. He did, yeah, yeah. He did, and the second one misses. Darl, stop, stop, stop! Did you see him? It was that bogeyman with the fish legs! I know, what the hell? I'm gonna grab Darl by the arm and, like, drag, like walk him away from the water. <laughs> like, pull him over to the side, because I want to talk to him. Is this a diplomacy or a strength him. check that you're trying to do right now? Are you trying to, like, pull him away from the water or, like, convince him to follow you away from no, the water? No, yeah, I'm gonna, like, grab him and be like, Darl, dude, and, like, try to... Alright, roll me, roll me a diplomacy for that. Yeah. Ugh! 
He said, no, I swore, I know, maybe I didn't see a kitsune, but I swore I saw that bogeyman. His it face was, was all weird like he's wearing a crazy mask. It was the bogeyman. I was trying to talk to him. Uh, you was talking to the bogeyman? Yeah, because the thing is, everyone likes money. So if you could convince to give him a cut of some of that clutch of eggs, then maybe you could set up a supply and get some rather than having to take it by force all Wait, the time. Uh, you telling me that you can talk to him and make like a business deal and get caviar? Maybe. Well, I gotta see this. I'm not leaving till I see this. And he sits down next to the water with his gun in his lap. It might be more effective if you actually get into the water. I think he was a little bit iffy. No, no. All the, all the stories I ever heard say don't go nowhere near the water. I'm staying at least ten feet back. Ten feet back? I was just standing there talking to him. He didn't do anything. Well, lady, you got bigger balls than me, I guess. I ain't going nowhere near that bogeyman. Come on, Darl. No, his face is all weird messed up. I ain't, I ain't gonna look at that. Plus, I bet he got, like, a weird fish dick. I'm scared of that stuff. I don't understand it. It's different. Uh, Ryan, what language do, um, merfolk speak? Aquan. Aquan. That's correct. You know Aquan? You really do? How do I not know Aquan if I was at summer camp with them? Apparently that wasn't something they taught us at summer camp. How did I talk to them? I mean, they also, some of them also know Common. This guy knew Common because he just talked to you. I mean, do they not know anything else? I mean, it depends how well educated they are, just like most every other race. I mean, uh, some of them know lots of languages. Their folk are usually pretty well educated. Well, um, would They Sylvan take education more, very seriously. Well, Sylvan would probably be a more likely thing, right, that they would know since it's like animal stuff. Yeah. Very possibly, because they talk to sea animals, so yeah, they probably know Sylvan. The turtle could talk to them, right? Yeah, I guess the turtle was able to go get out. Yeah, so I'm going to turn to Darl, and I'm going to say something in Sylvan to him. He says, do what? Excellent. So I'm going to turn back to the water, and in Sylvan, I'm going to say, Al, I think you might have to end up killing this guy. He's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Swan, you get evil, yeah. Murder Swan. Murder Swan. <laughs> All right. A bubble rises up from under the water and it pops. And when it pops, you hear the sylvan word for gladly. Oh, God. <laughs> what and seconds, seconds later, you see uh, Al leaping out of the water like a shark. And he lands and Darl's screaming and he's grasping at his gun, but he can't get a shot off in time. And Al lands on top of him and hits him one time with his staff, which is made of, like, driftwood and fish bones. And immediately, Darl turns into a fish, and he's flopping on the ground. And, and Al flops back into the river and leaves, uh, leaves Darl there to flop on the ground, gasping for air. Now in the shape can of I a put, fish. Uh, so, to Al, I'm going to say, can I put the fish in the water? Can I put the fish in the water? He's going to die. Is it okay? Can Do as you water? wish. All right, I'm gonna but I don't want... It says, could you put him in the water somewhere far away from here? Because I don't want to talk to him. Um, well, I'm gonna, like, kind of scoop him up and, like, chuck him a little bit, but not hard. <laughs> I don't want to, like, overhand throw him into the water, but... So him. now that Daryl, now that Daryl's a fish, this is like, oh my god, he's a fish, can we save him? <laughs> Daryl's like, fuck you, lady! And he lands in the water. <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he lands in the water safely. He swims away. He doesn't know that I did that. All he saw was the bubble. He saw Al attack him. He didn't see me attack him. He's a fucking fish. <laughs> he's a fucking fish, yeah. Whatever. I was just kidding around. But yeah, he's a fish. He threw him in the water. He's gone now. Um, you yeah. disposed of one human. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna... Um... Shit. I think we need to get out of here. I'm sorry, Al. I didn't mean... So, I mean, it's not like I led this guy here. They know that you're here. I don't know if killing or turning humans into fish is fun for you, but sorry that happened. I do what um, I have to do to protect the clutch. I know. Is there, like, any anything I can do to, like, hide this place better or, like, keep them If you If more? you could find some way to do that, we would be ever so gracious. 
you could find some way to help protect this area, you'd be doing us all a huge favor, and you'd be legendary in our minds. Excellent. Whatever yeah. your name is, I would be sure to pass it along to the leaders of my town, and, and they would sing your praises. Yeah, well, my name's Juwan. This little kid here is Kit. Juwan and Kit. Well, if you find a way to protect our, our reservoir of clutch eggs, then we'd be forever in your debt. Um, well... I actually do kind of want to see if so... Do you want to take some time to think about it, and I'll come back to you? Yeah. All right, you sit there and think about a way to protect this reservoir. I'll go back to Pleek, still underwater, okay. in the cavern, praying to her god. What do you what do you uh, pray to Norgorber? I I uh well I mean I, I didn't really think about what I actually said, but oh, uh, man, you gotta you gotta you gotta say something. <laughs> That's how the prayers work. Oh uh shit. Well, Norgor, I don't even know how to. Oh, it's not gonna do good if you say his name wrong. Norgor, Norgorber, Norgorber. Oh, Norgorber. We're fucked, aren't we? I don't know what to do here. I'm, uh, almost dead. A spider is, uh, struggling as well. I'm running out of ideas. And, uh, but I'm just, you know, um, just fuck it. I think we just gotta go for it, right? Norgorber says, uh, remember, your greatest asset is trickery and deceit. And don't forget... That you were one of Chaya's disciples, and you have a shadow tattoo on your hand in the shape of a black spot that allows you to, to tra- teleport once a day to the shadow plane if you ever need to escape a situation. Oh. oh. oh I didn't know that. Yes, you did. <laughs> you just didn't know that you knew it. I didn't know that I knew it. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, I think about it, and uh, I... Cast Magic Fang onto Harriet. All right, what's that do? Uh, it gives her plus one on uh, attack and damage rolls. Okay. Uh, and then uh, for five minutes. Okay. I'm still too far away for him to attack, right? So we're just he's still above chilling. water. You're still below water. So you still have a period like, of time left just, until you run out of breath. Yeah. Okay. During your water breathing spell. So I'm going to uh, dismount. From Harriet. Okay. And I'm going to send her in. All right. I'm going to send her into Lund. Well, like, I guess, you know, just got to move up to the Edwater's Edge, but then just got to, like, jump out and, like, jump at him and then, then you know, bite. And like a normal attack? Him. Roll it. Is it, a, is it a bite or are you going for the tackle? For the tackle well, would be a CMB and the bite would be an attack. Well, I would, you know, I'd like to tackle him, yeah. All right, then roll plus tackle. CMB. All right, cool. Let me find this guy again. There he is. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> well, there you go, then. Uh, that gives the Gug a chance to swing at uh, Harriet. That's going to be a 26 versus uh, Harriet's AC, which is probably a hit. Yeah, it's a 24. All right. So he swipes with one of the claws and does 13 damage to Harriet. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, cast... Uh, spider climb on myself. Uh huh. And I'm going to attempt to uh, stealthily climb up the side of the canyon up to the ceiling over him without him noticing me. All right. So while while him and, and Harriet are going at it, you're going to try and sneak over his head. Yes. All right. Roll me a stealth check. Eighteen. He uh, does notice you trying to climb overhead, but. He is too busy uh, swiping at Harriet to swipe at you. Okay. Well, uh... Uh, uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot to do... So you have one round to do something thing. before he tries to swing at you, at least. Okay, well, uh, before I drop down on him, I need to cast Bull Strength on myself. Okay. So I do that. All right. And that uh, gives me plus four... Plus four to Strength. All right. Yeah. So I do that. All right, done. And then, uh, well, then I'd like to drop down on him and swing with my gnome hook hammer. Uh, All right, roll it. Fucking kidding me. <laughs> Bad roll night, huh? Yeah, I rolled a two. All right, swing and a miss. 
You whiz pri- right past his head as his neck disjoins and jerks out of the way. And he swings at you. It's gonna be what's your what's your AC? Uh, it's eighteen. Oh wait, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, eighteen. Eighteen. 18. All right, he hits you. All right, swing. <laughs> he can hit you. I'm gonna give you a chance to shadow out of here right now, or you're okay. gonna take three damage and go unconscious. Alright, you panic, and as a swift action, as you see a claw coming at your face about to get you, uh, you go into the shadow plane, but Harriet's left alone in the material plane with this gug. So she's going to continue fighting it, but you're now in the shadow plane representation of this cavern, which looks exactly like it did before, except now it's the shadow version, so everything that was black was white down here for some reason, but everything is just as solid and looks exactly the same. The yeah, Gug's not there, and Harriet's not there. Harriet's, they're both in the material okay, plane. So You're in a different plane. I, I don't know what's happening there. You can't yeah. see what's happening. Well, you can... Like I said, this, kind of, I this kind of overlays the material plane. You still sense, Harriet. You, yeah, right. Okay, well, so then I'll just climb up onto the ceiling and re... Can I re-go? Yeah, but you only get it once a day, so once you come back, you can't do it again. Not sure. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get it one more shot. All right. If I die, I die. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, you, t- <laughs> you shut a plane. Happens. You go back on the ceiling, you teleport back above the Gug. Yeah, yep. above the gog. I'm right. going to do it one more time. I'm going right. to swing out of the gog with my no more camera. All right, no more camera. All right. Shatter, flying, and the ball. I'm dropping down, swinging down to a camera. Take a hero point, by the way. 18. Uh, so that's still only 20. Oh, well, 24. That's enough. Know. He gets a reflex save, but that's just enough to hit. And I fail the reflex save, so it does full damage. Okay, so full damage. All right. Um, is he still distracted with Harriet? Oh, what am I I'm going to swing at Harriet, though, while you while you attack him, because he does get another attack, um, which would be well, 22 versus Harriet's AC. I, I mean, I hit him, right? So I'm rolling my damage on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, that's right. Okay, two. <laughs> two damage. Two damage. It's plus strength. You don't have you have zero strength, right? Oh well I got plus four strength. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, so you get a plus two then. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So four damage? Four damage. Alright, so you do four damage. You're not hitting with both sides of the hammer, or is it, was that with both sides of the hammer? I rolled one on Oh that. no. Yeah. I'd say that's a pretty low number. Yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah, but he gets another attack on Harriet, like I said, uh, which misses. Uh so it's you and Harriet again. Alright, well, if he swung at Harry and missed, does she get an attack of opportunity? No, no it's regular <laughs> battle. But technically, our opportunities only happen when something's moving. Yeah, yeah, when things are happening. Just I know you just want as many attacks <laughs> as possible. I know. I get it. It's the only way I'm going to do it with all my ones I'm rolling. Every player wants as many attacks as possible. Um. Okay. Well, Harriet's got that magic fang and that plus one on them rolls. Yeah, so, roll it. Um, she's, uh... Oh, you know, she's going to... Uh, uh, Be creative. The more creative you are, the better things work out in this game. Trust me. <laughs> it's hard for me to weasel away. I can weasel my way out of you. You know, hammer hits and things like that. That's just rolls. But if you got an idea, it's much harder to get out of. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go again. Harriet's going for uh, a leg uh, with the web. All right, so just gonna web his leg, web his leg, and like uh, you know. All right, roll plus a, make a C and B with that, but yeah, all out. Fucking no, no, <laughs> of course not. Bad roll. All right, the web misses. I only have nineteen and twenty to hit it, so what am I gonna do? All right, uh, and um, so that's back to you, I guess. Well, that'd be it's a tag, it's still move, but so it can Stop. climb the wall also or run either direction, but. That would provoke an attack opportunity. Yeah, well, uh, well, can I swing at it while it moves? And then, yeah, so you're trying, so you can. Because uh, I got a chance, so then Harry went to it's you. All right, well, I am just, uh, I, I'm fucking, I don't know. I'm going to uh, change all of the die that I have. <laughs> <laughs> buy, buy a bunch of new dice. That's yeah, what I'm come gonna back do. to me after I buy a bunch of new dice. <laughs> come back to me after I come back from the store with new dice. Uh, <laughs> I am going to, yeah, I'll fucking swing at it with my goddamn gnome truck hammer. Alright, like good luck. Badass. And I, yeah, what do you think I got? 
I don't know. <laughs> not high enough, I assume. All right. A one. Again. Oh, yeah. a natural one? Yes. Oh, that's not good, because that means you fall prone. Yeah, okay, sure. You got some dip on your desk. Yeah. Good. Oh, uh, so were you on the ceiling? No, I was on the ground. Oh. I had been on the ceiling, and I dropped okay. down on him, and then, you know, So, yeah, you, on the you're ground, now on the ground. Just, you're on the ground, ground. I was swinging at his back, and I slipped and fell on my back, I guess. Luckily you. Luckily for you, he's still attacking Harriet. Is her AC lower than 22? No, her AC's 23. All right, then he misses Harriet, and you're still you're on the ground, but he doesn't swing at you, so you're okay. So you have an option for your move; you can get up. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm just so you're standing again, so you don't get a minus two or whatever. Yeah. Then, it's, then it's you and Harriet again to attack because he missed. Cool. Um. Fuck. Wow. I'm... Fuck is right. Fuck is right. I like use. Look at like. I should like. I would like to have... How long do you think it would take Harriet to start crafting a web around this cavern here? Uh, probably a minute, so ten rounds. Okay, I can't survive that many rounds. So that's not a lot. That's not a feasible <laughs> opportunity. She's going to shoot and miss again if I don't hit a 19 or 20. Uh, <laughs> I'm rolling once all night. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. I mean, but if the web thing is your great idea, and you need to uh, hero point that, you can. Yeah, but I mean, that's just what, I re-roll it and miss it again. You get a plus eight on the re-roll. Oh, well, that's still So the odds again. are higher. Uh, yeah, you could still miss again. It's very possible. I've seen many hero point re-rolls not go well either. Okay, well, uh, fuck. I'd like to, uh, this guy has a face, right? Does it have a face? Can it's I got shoot? A, well, it doesn't have oh, eyes, but it has like a mouth. Well, so if I shot a web at the face, would it distract it and like disorient it in some way, like it would like a person? In, if you shot it in the mouth, animal, it would. But the odds of doing animal. that are just as much as you hitting it in the leg. So yeah, well, but yeah, it would it would probably choke of, on some web and be just it'd be days for a round to get like two rounds of attacks on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll do that this time. All right, I think the different. All right, so uh, this you can just roll a normal attack. But just take a minus two for aiming for this big ass yeah, okay. mouth. Yeah, so that I can't hit it. So, so I don't do that. Unless you roll a natural twenty, yeah. Because I can't do that. Yeah. So, um, you know, instead, in I mean, Harriet's got eight legs, right? What could she do with that shit? Could she trip him up? <laughs> I mean, but is that going to give me a minus two modifier or some shit? Because uh, then I'm not going to. Well, be able because to hit she has eight legs, she's harder to trip, but she's not any better at tripping. That would still be a CMB roll to trip. So she could try yeah. to trip him or well, I'm rush him. Try and trip him. All right, so roll plus CMB with Harriet. Yeah. Fuck no, it's a three. All right, he, she tries to trip him, but it doesn't happen. That's yeah. you. I know. I know. It's hard being alone, getting attacked by a really strong thing. And you're the one that wanted to go elite. <laughs> All you had to do is go to Northport, but no, you had to go elite. Yeah, I went to Westport, but I saw the elite room. I was like, "Fuck it." Will Pleak go elite? I don't know. How would I know? I don't know what's gonna happen. Anything could happen next time. It's long distance Dungeons and Dragons Tenor Theater. Just making it up as we go along.